Hi you guys and welcome back to Warrington Filming Painting and Decorating Trade Secrets and today I'm just going to share with you a little uh, little bit of a tip when it comes to uh, undercoating stairs in a new property or even if you're undercoating stairs in your own house okay now as you know different types of undercoat you've got your oil based and you've got your water based undercoat Right, one of the um, main water based paints I use is this Armstead acrylic primer undercoat, okay? Ideal for inside work. Um, dries quick, and what I'm going to share with you is the, the, the advantage of using this is uh, it fills all them little gaps, okay? You know, on the stairs, the tracking at the bottom where the spaces are and the spindles meet, fills all them gaps. Now, if you paint them particular things in an oil-based uh, undercoat, them little gaps, that oil-based undercoat will like not seal them small little gaps. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have to go back and like gun fill them little gaps. Now then, if you use this stuff and put a decent coat on, okay, um, it'll fill all them little gaps. I'm not saying you, you, you have to use this or you have to use oil base. I'm just giving you a little tip of, of especially if you're in, in, in the new work game, like doing uh, new properties, um, where time is of the essence. Uh, this will fill all them gaps, which will save you gunning up, which is just, just as good, if not better. Because obviously if you start building up little gaps on the stairs, it can make uh, a little bit of a mess and look a bit untidy if you don't do it correctly. So by using this, fills them gaps up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a bit of a close up on the stairs. And uh, I'm going to like, just paint the tracking in uh, this stuff, just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, with, with the, it being painted in this, okay? And I'll show it you when it's dry as well. I'll, you'll see all the little gaps filled in, okay? So let me just show you a typical small stairs with spindles uh, that I've got to uh, paint up. Right guys, here's a typical stairs that I've got to do. Okay, I've got to varnish that handrail and I've got to undercoat and gloss. Now, the advantage with these stairs in a lot of the new properties are like pre-primed up okay so they've got a decent coat of white on them already so let me just give you a bit of an example on the tracking okay right see that little gap there little gaps okay now this one's not that bad but you do see the gap now normally you need to gun that up, okay? Okay, this one's not that bad. You can start seeing some more gaps here, yeah? Especially when you come down to here, them gaps there. So like I say, this uh, acrylic primer undercoat will fill them gaps. So let me show you. Right, so here we go. I'm just going to basically show you on the tracking, which is the bit where the spindles are in the tracking, okay? And uh, <coughs> you've got the spaces in between. Now, like I point out, you know, if there's nothing wrong with doing it in water-based. You're doing your bit for your, the environment. But um, if you paint it in an oil-based, a lot of these really tiny little gaps won't fill up with the undercoating gloss. So, you know, they, you can pile it in, it'll just sink through the gaps, and then you're going to have to do a bit of filling. Sometimes you can fill it with the oil-based undercoat and gloss and it'll just about fill them gaps in. Okay? 
but not all the time. Especially if you're doing new work, it's quite handy to use a water base because it dries fairly quick if the weather's okay and uh, stops anybody who comes in the plot because you know what it's like, kitchen fitters, tilers, especially with the water based stuff it goes off quite quick and uh, if anybody kicks up a bit of a dust, you know, it's not so bad. I mean, I don't have to worry about the floor here. Like with a lot of new properties, you don't have to worry about the floor too much because it all gets cleaned, carpeted, etc. So they, they never worry about it. Okay. I mean, it's water-based acrylic primer undercoat. It's not that cheap either. I think the, the one I just showed you was about it's about twenty-five pound if you don't have like a trade account or anything. So anybody coming, Joe Public will uh, will find it quite expensive to buy, but it's good stuff. You get a nice solid finish. It dries quick. You can flash over it again. So when it comes to like doing new properties, I tend to do the stairs in the water-based undercoat because it will eliminate me having to go back and fill tiny little cracks up, which an agent will pick up, I can assure you. One of their favourite things is uh, looking for gaps on stairs. Right, so that's all I'm going to show you anyway. And what I'll do, I'll show you when it's dry, which won't be long. Okay. Just make sure you get a nice, even thing. I mean, I'm gonna continue and do the rest of the stairs now, so what I'll do, I'll just get back to you in a minute and show you, show, show you them dry. Right then, guys. Uh, stairs have uh, been uh, undercoated and the handrail's been varnished. So I'm just gonna give you a close up of them gaps, okay? Right, can you see that? No gaps. Now I can assure you, if you was using oil based, then uh, the oil base would sink in them gaps. All right, so uh, that's the advantage of using the acrylic. It dries quickly with the right weather and um, it fills the gaps and doesn't like sink down into the gap, okay? Which uh, eliminates the gunning up, so there you go. Right then guys, there you go. That's the advantage of using acrylic primer undercoat, which is basically a water-based undercoat compared to using uh, an oil base okay so if you're doing new properties or just coming into the uh, the trade or even if you've had a, a new staircase fitted in your in your house uh, even if you don't water base undercoat on the uh, spindles the tracking at the bottom where the spaces and the um, 
spindles meet the track because that, that section at the bottom, the advantage is of using the water based undercoat, it fills all their measure gaps in and doesn't, when, it, when it's dry, it doesn't sink in. Okay, so it fills the gap, dries, and the gap stays filled, uh, which eliminates a lot of like extra filling or, or using your uh, corking gun to uh, fill them minute gaps. Because even with oil based undercoat and oil based gloss, it can sink into them little gaps. I mean, that example I just gave you there wasn't too bad, but as you can see towards that end spindle, that was just like one coat of, uh, of Aki uh, on that bottom tracking section, and like it lim totally eliminated that gap. So you can see the advantage. All right, so that's basically it. The advantages of using acrylic primer undercoat, water based undercoat. Okay, good. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thumbs up, comments most welcome. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, etc. Check out Instagram, always some uh, interesting photos coming up on there, okay? So uh, until next time, catch you later.